hear a lot about uh, Bitcoin's energy use, right? And you all at Square just put out a paper with ARC that, that described how actually, uh, you know, Bitcoin mining might incentivize the adoption of renewable energy. And it may actually uh, basically help unlock renewable energy resources that are stranded or otherwise unused around the world. Can you talk to us a little bit about why you have this belief or philosophy that Bitcoin mining is actually like helpful for our, our species and our planet? Yeah, I mean, I mean, just you just look at the uh, economics of it, and you know, ultimately they have to miners have to make a profit, and getting um, cheap renewable energy maximizes their potential for profit. It's really that simple. And I, th I thought I had some agreement with some, some notable figures out there. And then uh, that seemed to change over a matter of a few weeks. And now it's in a weird, weird kind of place. But um, I, I believe fully that um, Bitcoin over time and today does incentivize more renewable energy. And I think it does incentivize uh, more awareness around how we're getting that power and gives people more freedom to convert unused, wasted power into something that actually creates value for billions of people around the world. Yeah, just a couple, I mean, I, I, I think it's a great message. Uh, I, I, just a couple facts I'd throw out to the audience. Uh, the U.S. government this year is decommissioning, uh, for political reasons, uh, more nuclear power than, than is necessary to power essentially the entire Bitcoin network. Um, so, you know, we need to think carefully about energy and waste and the environment, but there's more than meets the eye here, and I would encourage all of you to sort of dig in and learn more about, about, Bitcoin, uh, about Bitcoin mining. Um, I also wanted to share briefly this, this example of how it could actually benefit people in emerging markets. So a lot of, like, philanthropists and, and outside investors have been trying to help uh, Virunga National Park in, in, the, in the DRC, in the Congo. And, you know, they've been building some hydro facilities there. They have this mighty river and incredible re natural resources. Um, but the problem is that when they build the dam, the, it takes time to connect the transmission lines to the dam. So the project remains fairly inert for a while. And it's not like that exciting of a development project for that reason. But about a year and a half ago, the people who run the park, and this is an incredible park that supports like 5 million people, it's the most amazing wildlife in the planet, they decided to start Bitcoin mining. And it gave them like a source of of revenue that can allow them to bootstrap the rest of their operations. And this is coming online across the, across the country. And that's going to happen in so many countries that can start unlocking solar, wind, renewable, you name it. I mean, they're going to start realizing that this can help bootstrap them into some energy independence. So I think that's important for you all to consider when you're reading these headlines about how Bitcoin is boiling the oceans. You need to think deeper. That's, that's what, what I 100%. think. I don't know. What, what do you think, 100%. Jack? 100%. 100%. Well said. <laughs>